So this is KC broadcasting live from Tagaytay Road here in the Philippines. Down here, it looks like a little bit of chaos. Over here, it looks like confusion. Up here, it looks kind of like excitement, but they don't know the seriousness of this. That black stuff in the sky is coming from a service station. Full tanks of gasoline and flames going up like a volcanic eruption. We've just, or they've just arrived. Uh, the, the police were here straight away. The, uh, the emergency services got here straight away. We're being told to go back, 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 because it's dangerous. Like I say, in the UK, in Europe, if you're seen with a, a mobile phone in a gas station, just in case of a spark, it's, you have to go back. These guys want to come through. Normally motorbikes can come through, but it's dangerous, they have to go back. This is something that could blow up at any second now. It's like a war zone. I'm gonna get out of here as quickly as I can. The fire service have arrived. These guys are trying their best to get these guys to turn around. In the Philippines, motorbikes go everywhere. They go everywhere and they're expected that nothing will stop them. Earthquakes, eruptions, it doesn't matter. But this is a gas station full of fuel on a major trunk road. And as you can see, if you look down here, you'll see people standing very close because they're curious. Wouldn't you be? You know, we're all curious when something bad happens. We want to see just how bad it is. Let's hope this one ends well. I say the, the, the police are doing their job. The uh, one fire engine has arrived. Again, I think probably anywhere in Europe, America, Canada, Australia, whatever, they probably have about 20 fire appliances on scene by now. But this is the Philippines. It's a developing country, it's a wonderful country. The people are fantastic and very welcoming to everyone. It's a place that is home. And right now, the emergency service is trying to, to stop a catastrophe. In the UK, at the moment, they're talking about a cost of living crisis as a catastrophe. Martin Lewis, thank you for that phrase. And, I, and Martin, I love you, by the way. I follow you, I love you, and whatever you say is right. But this, my friend, is a potential catastrophe. And this is also about energy. It's about the stuff that we're trying to get. The gasoline for our cars, the gas for our houses, the electricity. And yet there are people within 100 meters because I don't think even the emergency services know how serious it could turn out. But I've got a lot of faith in the people that know and let's hope that this one doesn't turn out the way that most people would think look at this whenever i see these cars i want to say new york city department it's the philippines national police but there you go so now this road which is a major trunk road is gridlocked no one can get through and uh, hopefully they're sorting this and here's something that i found out about you know in the so-called developed worlds we think we know everything we know nothing truthfully we know nothing because this is this is the real deal okay these people have very little their frontline services are amazing like they are all around the world they're there 
those fire officers are risking their life and limb. They are literally 50 yards away from the fire with water. That's, that's their tool, water. If you're a Filipino, too big. If you're from Spain, I'm laughing because I'm trying to calm everyone else down, but this is very serious. And uh, what I'm, my point is, you don't have to be a multi-million pound nation to do the best. And today I've seen the firefighters here and the police and all of the services and the security officers, the unsung heroes, get there, get their hands dirty, go in there, risk their lives, and hopefully, hopefully revert a disaster happening. Anyway, you think about what I've just said, and thank you for viewing this video. And also, over the next few months, please stay with us subscribe press the bell because we'll be traveling all around the world in between now and Christmas and you will see the good things the good parts of the world and if anything happens like that you'll also see that until the next time KC God bless